In today's DIY sofa cover repair tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I managed to fix my upholstered living room sofa after it had been trashed by a visiting cat. It's easy, it doesn't require any fancy equipment or tools, and the best part is it has almost no impact on your wallet. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Unicrafts. If this is your first time here, this is a crafts and home improvement channel committed to donating a percentage of all ad revenue to charities of your choice. You can find out more in the about section of Unicrafts. Let's go ahead. So this is my current living room sofa. It's the only sofa we have and we bought it pre-loved or secondhand through Gumtree a few years ago. Over the past few years, this sofa has really been through its paces. I have two young kids and they have built forts with it. They continue to roll and jump and bounce and climb on it. And recently, earlier this year, our sofa also played host to a visiting kitten. She was with us for two days and two nights only. And in those two days, she managed to scratch and wreck the lower half of the sofa pretty bad. The worst damage, however, was suffered by this corner of the sofa. So as you can see, the kitten not only scratched off the upholstery in the corner completely, she also chewed on the edges of the tear. So today, what I'm going to attempt to do is fix this corner because as soon as you enter the room and look at the sofa, this is the first thing you notice. It's bang in front of the eye um, and it just really needs to be fixed so that's what we're gonna do today let's get started the very first thing I did is I took a pair of sharp scissors and I snipped away any thread ends sticking out around that open wound on the bottom of the sofa so uh, the kitten had chewed up the edges of the tear that she had created and there were lots of little fibers sticking out so I just simply snipped those away Next, I lifted off the seating cushions of the sofa and under there I discovered there was a tag of fabric, of the same upholstery fabric that my sofa is made out of, that the manufacturer had attached with the fire label. So I cut off a little piece of this tag, which would help me patch up that gaping hole in the sofa's upholstery. If your sofa doesn't have a tag of fabric underneath it somewhere, you can dig out a piece of fabric from the inside of the cushions, perhaps on the inner lining or where there might be some stitch lines on the wrong side of the stitch lines, you can cut out a small fabric piece. Next, I took a tiny piece of this upholstery fabric and I trimmed it down to slightly bigger than the pad of my thumb. The gaping hole in the upholstery is slightly bigger than the pad of my thumb and that's roughly the size that I cut this piece out, keeping it ever so slightly larger than the hole. I also made sure that I keep the offcuts or those little trimmings safe. Now I took some cheap fabric glue which is easily available at all hobby and craft stores and I applied it directly to that open hole and I used a piece of old cardboard to evenly spread it out onto that gaping hole. Now I took that little circular piece of fabric we just cut out and I placed it on top of that glued up hole and I used several different sharp instruments to gently tuck in the edges of that circular piece of fabric right underneath the edge of the hole. So I tried using a little pen knife, I used a little stylus, I used a small little pair of scissors, whatever was comfortable, whatever was working best, I just experimented with a few different things. Uh, to make sure that the edges of that circular patch are tugged right underneath the lips of that open hole. Next, I put on one more thin layer of the fabric glue all over this circular patch and I spread it out as evenly as possible using the same old little piece of cardboard, uh, making sure that all the edges are still tucked in as best as possible using a small pair of scissors and then I wiped away any extra drips or dribbles of glue and I let the whole thing dry. Once the patch was dry, I collected any fabric offcuts which had come out of trimming that circular piece of fabric. 
and I took a very sharp pair of scissors and I started cutting it into tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces. And I did this over a piece of paper so I can carefully collect all those microfibers that I was creating by snipping this piece of fabric. Before we move on, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for watching the videos here. You must have seen a bar flashing at the bottom of this video. This is the amount of money that you have helped raise for charity through Unicrafts and all of these charities are listed on the channel's main banner. So please do go check that out. If you want to help the cause absolutely free of cost, you can take the one view wonder challenge. All you have to do is watch one more video here without skipping any ads. For further details, please do read the about section of Uni Crafts. And now let's move on. And by the end of it, I was left with a pile of fibers which matches my sofa exactly. Now I took my fabric glue and I started adding dollops of this glue to this small pile of fabric fibers. And I started mixing it up using whatever tools I could find. I tried using a skewer, that wasn't very good, so I started using the same piece of cardboard and that worked beautifully. The idea is to convert these fibers into a sort of putty or a filler which matches my sofa exactly and this is going to help me hide all the little dents and blemishes which have been left behind after I've done patching up the sofa's hole. We're back to the sofa now and now I started applying this fiber putty to all the uh, crevices and all the holes and all the little rips that the kitten had created on the back of my sofa. So this was the most prominent one which I did not have to patch up but it was there and I could see the inner framework of the sofa through the hole and I applied the putty there and then I used the tip of my skewer to kind of fill the putty into the actual crevices within the sofa so that it kind of blends in with the texture of the sofa the fabric or the upholstery on my sofa is quite thick and textured so I first applied the putty using something flat and smooth like the cardboard piece and then I used the skewer to push the putty in and also create texture on the surface as best as I could. One hour later the putty is fully dry and matches the sofa perfectly. Uh, however, there are tiny little bits of fiber sticking out through the glue that I need to just quickly trim away using my sharp pair of scissors. And now for the finishing touches. You can see that even though the putty did a fabulous job of matching up to the sofa, it still doesn't have that cross weave pattern which is running through the fabric and we have to recreate that. For this, I'm using my white Unipasca pen. You can pretty much use any white acrylic pen for this if your sofa indeed has white fibers running through the fabric. If not, just grab a pen which matches the fibers as closely as possible. I give it a good shake and then using the tip of this saturated ink pen, I gently touched upon the cross weave pattern which I was seeing running through the fabric of the sofa. I did not trace every single cross weave pattern because that would just appear as overkill and perhaps make the corner pop out even more. So just a few bits of white here and there and that was pretty much it. If I were to take this couch to a local upholsterer, they would charge me well upwards of 100 pounds to fix this little corner. Um, and that saved me. It saved me the hassle of transporting it there, bringing it back and all that and waiting without a couch. Um, and also I learned an important skill. I mean, this is just a pre-loved couch. It has seen already many years of loving use by myself and my little family. Uh, the kids have had so many fun uh, plays on this couch They continue to do that every day. Um, and it would have been a shame to let it go just because a corner was damaged. So I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. If you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys soon. Bye.